effects shown in this movie are digital effects that were created entirely on a computer. Under no circumstances did we set any Playmobil toys on fire, right? Correct. We certainly did not. Absolutely not. Today, we're looking at something very dangerous. How do forest fires start? And what does this special airplane have to do with that? You'll find out today on Robert Knows. Robert? Huh. We don't all have a battery. Sorry, yeah. I sometimes forget that. There's the lake up ahead. About time. Look over there, an airplane. It looks kind of funny though. It has such a big belly. That is a firefighting plane from the fire service, Bennett. How do you fight fires with an airplane like that? Does it have water in its belly? <laughs> in its belly? Then it is correct. The lower part of the airplane is called the belly. Oh, I see. How does firefighting work then? The aircraft can drop the water from the tank over a fire. But what happens when the tank is empty? That's also not a problem. The firefighting plane skims across the surface of the water without landing and picks up more water within a few seconds through openings in the fuselage. That's really cool. Hmm, but there's no fire now. So why is the plane flying lower and lower? It's probably about to land. On the water? Yes, that is a seaplane. Instead of wheels, it has special floats that allow it to land and take off on the water. Hey, kids. Hi there. Um... My name is Robert. I am a robot powered by artificial intelligence. Interesting. That was totally cool, the way you landed on the water. Thanks. Are you a firefighter pilot then? I sure am. Whenever there's a forest fire, I get the call. How does a forest fire start? If it has been very hot for a long time, the forests get very dry. When this happens, it only takes one small spark to set a whole forest on fire. Really? Yes, and by the way, these fires don't start on their own. There always has to be something that causes the fire. How are fires caused? Well, a fire can be caused, for example, by a lightning strike or a volcanic eruption. However, these natural causes are rare. Thank goodness, but what causes forest fires? Unfortunately, most fires are caused by people. Sometimes people start a fire on purpose. These people are then called arsonists. That's terrible. Yes, but it is much more common for fires to start because people don't pay enough attention. For example, if you don't pay attention when you have a barbecue. Even the hot exhaust pipe of a car can set dry grass on fire. And then you show up and put it out. Yes, together with my colleagues. And how exactly do you do that? The fire service usually puts out forest fires from the ground and from the air. Fire trucks spray water onto the source of the fire, and the firefighting plane helps from above by dropping water onto the forest fire. But sometimes, I also work to stop fires from happening. Like today, this means dropping water onto very dry areas. Wow, I would love to be up there. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's not possible. But I'll fly another lap in a minute, and you can watch me from below. And you know what else you can do? Yes, tell, tell us, us what, what we, we can, can do. do. You can help stop forest fires from starting in the first place. By not lighting an open fire in the forest. But we don't light fires anyway. That's true. But you can also warn adults that it's a mistake if you see them making a fire. And always take care. If you discover a fire, tell an adult immediately so that they can call the fire service. Oh, we'll, we'll do, do that. that. I couldn't have said it better myself. Oh, thank you. But now I have to go. Bye, kids. Bye, Robert.
It's so awesome, everything the fire service does. But now I feel really warm. You're right. Do you think he can see us from here? The question is, can he give us a nice cool shower? <laughs> oh, I hope not. Electronics and water, that never ends well. <laughs> <laughs> Till next week, kids. See ya.